Hey there, folks. Today I've got a little cup battle. It's against Green Scissor Blade. I uh, think we met through Smogon. Not 100% sure. Anyway, he's got a bunch of really big threats on his team. Krogunk, uh, Bronzong, uh, uh, Munchlax for sure. And anyway, I was predicting him to lead off with his Diggler to try to set up rocks or to try to trap my lead. So this is a really great situation for me. He knows that I have Magic Bounce, so he's not going to try to set up rocks. I might be able to get up both of my screens as he switches out. Um, yeah, he tried to go for the Sucker Punch thing, and then I just U-turn first turn. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a dual screener set. So anyway, uh, out goes his Munchlax. I send out what appears to be my Dark Smoke Puncher, my Ghastly. Uh, it is not. It is uh, my Zorua, but that's great. I do have the Hidden Power. I mean, I didn't get the Paralyzed, so I'm fine with that. I have Eviolite, I have Nasty Plot, I'm now at plus two. I know I can take this Vacuum Wave, um, unless he'd gotten a crit. No, I even think if he'd gotten a crit. So now I get off a plus two extra sensory to kill KO his Krogunk, and that's great for me. Um, unfortunately, now I'm uh, trapped in thanks to the stupid Diglett. I go for the Night Days. I know that he's probably running the standard uh, you know, reversal set with Focus Sash. Nothing I can do. I'm going to die. Um, but at least I get him down to one HP. Unfortunately, so Sean uh, does have priority, but he's going to outspeed thanks to Sucker Punch. Anyway, he goes for Sucker Punch. I go for Sub, uh, expecting him to go for Sucker Punch, and thinking that he might actually not actually have anything to hit, uh, to hit me with. Um, this was a complete mistake on my part. I knew I knew that Sucker Punch would fail if he used Sucker Punch and went first. So that was really a bad move for me. Um, but he all he's got to hit me with is Sucker Punch, so he's going to keep going for it. Obviously, I'm just going to KO on this turn, uh, just in case he uh, go for the uh, Sludge Bomb, just in case he wanted to switch out into someone else. Out now is going to come his Bronzor. I go for the sub, thinking this is probably a dual screening set. Wasn't expecting him to go for the Psychic. Uh, it's really not going to cost me anything, because it's not like I can survive a hit from this guy that range of health. So I go for the Shadow Ball. This turn, he goes for the Light Screen. That's actually great for me. Uh, I'm going to try to KO with another Shadow Ball. It's actually not going to KO because he did get that light screen up. He's going to take me out now with a Psychic, and that is going to be a dead ghastly for me. I'm going to go ahead and send out Neela just to try to get at least one screen back up. I go ahead and set up my light screen. Uh, great for me. He's going to go for the Charge Beam. Um, yeah, that's really not good for me. So now he's at plus one. I don't know why I didn't U-turn here. That was actually kind of silly of me. Uh, considering I am faster, I could have gotten off some damage. Anyway, I am going to recover health with uh, Bolt Absorb. It's fine. I go for the uh, I go for the Skull that does not KO. I really should have gone for the Thunderbolt. It would have KO'd. Uh, it does slightly more damage. Anyway, now for him is going to be Munchlax. I go for the Skull, hoping to get a burn, uh, but I'm not getting a burn. So anyway, he's going to Whirlwind me out. I actually had no idea that Munchlax could learn Whirlwind, but apparently it can. Uh, I go ahead and go for the Reflect here. He goes for the Body Slam. I'm down to 3 HP and I get paralyzed. That is awful. Now I'm going to lose my Neela. Uh, so no more screens for me. No more Wish Passing. Well, I, not that I've done any Wish Passing yet. But anyway, I send out my um, Hermione just to go for... I do go for the uh, Risky... Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, shell Smash. But I figured, you know... Hey, I really can't do anything to him at, minus, at you know, the health level that I'm at, but if I get off my uh, Shell Smash and he doesn't go for the whirlwind, I might be in a good situation. Anyway, I get the burn here with my uh, Chin Chow. Out now, I'm going to be dragged out into Bernie, my Cyndaquil. Uh, I go for the Nature Power, which is Earthquake. Yeah, I'm, I should actually keep this in mind that uh, it's, this does render correctly. So yeah, there's issues with using Nature Power with the, back the um, background hack. Uh, and that could have really gone badly, but it didn't in this case, so it's okay. Uh, I finally take out his Munchlax. Finally, 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 and that is, uh, that's okay for me. Uh, Angler is going to get hit really hard by the Sludge Bomb, but it isn't going to get taken out. I get the Parahax here. Great for me. It's the only way I was really going to be able to take out his Ghastly. So now his Ghastly's down, but unfortunately uh, my Reflect is down as well. Out's going to come this Axew. I really wish I had this Reflect out. I don't think I could survive, but I think some of my other Pokemon might be able to survive. I send out Bernie. Um, not sure what set he's running, but he is locked in. I go for the Fire Blast because I calculated that it would do slightly more than Nature Power, I think. I'll put that in the description, but anyway. Uh, this is his last Pokemon. He is confused, and so now this is all going to come down to a bit of hacks. Is he going to break through the confusion, or is he going to hit himself in the confusion? He breaks through the confusion, KOs Hermione, and that is a 1-0 victory for my opponent. So, great game, Green Scissor Blade. Hope you folks enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.